What's up everybody, this is Charlesome, and today we have another EVIC Box of Awesomeness unboxing for you guys. This time we have the John Wick Edition 2024 Box of Awesomeness. I'm pretty excited to open this box because looking at the winning categories, there's some pretty interesting items in there and some items that we've never seen on this channel before. So I'm pretty excited to open this box. Let's go ahead and get this started. We got a knife, let's open this box. All right guys, box is opened. Let's go ahead and see what we got. I had to move the box over because it's so incredibly large that I actually can't keep it opened and take the items out. So let's go ahead and get this started. All right guys, first thing we have in the box is a Wrap Prism e-bike bag. These things are pretty cool because they have tons of space on the inside and tons of accessories on the outside. The only thing that sucks is it has some gym bag-like uh, features on both ends of the bag. Oh my god, it's not big ass. I feel like I just took a whiff of Peter Griffin's ass, literally putting my face up to this bag. If you look at that, a nice black bag. This thing is pretty cool. And it has Molly space on the front. I don't know how I'm going to do this with the limited space that we have in the air. But anyways, the things that I think are totally useless and stupid are these gym-like... These things, these are stupid. Why would you put this on a gun bag? This is... I don't understand this crap. This is stupid. Other than that, the rest of it is a totally nice gun bag. And it has plenty of space. And it has patch space for all, all sorts of patch stuff. And you can use it as a backpack on this side. It's got two shoulder straps. And it even has space on the back of the bag. You can hide stuff in here. Look at this. I'm putting my... Wait, no way. Can I reach my... I am touching my fingers right now. I have no clue what the point of this area is. I don't know what you would put in there, but apparently you can fit practically Narnia in there. Looks like it has an ID holder on the bottom here, and what looks to be another uh, grip. I, I don't know what that part is. But other than that, this is a really nice bag and plenty of space, and I don't know. I think these are great for beginners. On to the next item. We got another EVIC cash card. This time we have the Queen of Hearts, and it is the Daniel Defense Mark 18 Mod 1. These things are pretty sick looking. I love the black finish, as I say in every video since we've gotten these cards. And they're just really nice looking, and hopefully we get a whole deck this time. Probably the strangest item to have in an EVIC box of awesomeness, this pencil. Uh, we have a Terran Tactical Innovations pencil. Um, I don't know if that's going to be able to shine because of the light, but uh, you can kind of notice that it says Terran Tactical Innovations. Um, yeah, uh, I don't know why I have this. It's just a cool little pencil. I don't know. Not much to say about a pencil. On to the next <laughs> item. All right, guys, I moved the box over so we had more room in the, in the picture here. But next up, we have an EMG and Terran Tacticals Innovation box. Let's go ahead and see what we got in this box. So, looks like we have a pistol with a bottle opener. I don't know what the hell this is. And we have our magazine here. And we have some gasket of some sort. This doesn't look like an airsoft gun. Huh, the iron sights are pretty cool. Stifled grip, it's a little rough on my hand. Not sure how I feel about that. Huh, why does it need to have a grip here? It has grip in the weirdest spots. It has grip right here. Don't know why it's needed right in those locations. This is not an airsoft gun. This is a gel ball blaster. Why do... <laughs> this is insane. I don't need a very expensive John Wick type gel ball blaster. This thing is cool and all, but I don't play any gel ball. Like, we came here for airsoft, damn it! Either way, it's pretty cool. Yeah, this is definitely a gel ball thing because I've never seen a nozzle that looks like that in my life. There's no hop up in there at all. I mean, I guess it's cool. The sights, pretty nice. Um, other than that, I think this thing is kind of cool, but I'm probably never gonna shoot it because I don't play gel ball. 
or whatever it's called. Oh well, I mean, glorified pistol. On to the next gun. Next up, we got another EMG and Terran Tactical box. Let's go ahead and see what we got. Ah yes, another John Wick 3 2011 Combat Master. Oh yeah, these things are sick. Is it the automatic version though? It's uh, there's no there's no full auto on this bad boy, but it's pretty cool. Honestly, I will never understand the hype of having an extended magazine button because I feel like it just gets in your way. Yes, this thing is pretty sick. I like the sights. It's just like the other gun that we just unboxed. Uh, the stifling is much better on this this grip. Um, Magwell is just kind of thick, you know. I mean, we've, I think this is our third one that we've got, but. I mean, they're all practically the same thing. Other one just had full auto, that's about it. It's all a little greasy. It's got the STI markings on the side. It's a pretty nice gun, I will give it that. The magwell's weird, I, I never understood this, what this little cutout is. Maybe it's for my thumb to, you know what? That's probably exactly what it is, it's for my thumb. This is so my thumb can sit right here and pull this out. Nice slide action, perfect spring, pretty nice pistol. But let's go ahead and see what else we got. For our third and final gun, we have another EMG and Terran Tactical pistol box. Let's go ahead and see what we got. Ah yes, look at this one. This is pretty cool. We got the John Wick 4 2011 pistol. Uh, this thing is pretty cool. Huh. This is pretty cool looking. I like the shape of this. I love how the compensator looking piece on the front is that's different. Oh, what? That's pretty cool. That compensator piece is all one thing. And it's got the stand, that extended uh, magazine button. Trigger feels kind of cheap though. It feels like a weird plastic. I like how it looks though. The, the finish on it is nice. It's got Pit Viper on the side. Got ourselves some pretty nice pistols here, and the stipling job is really nice on this one. These things are pretty sick. I, uh, I definitely favor this one more, though. Anyways, guys, let's go shoot some guns. This thing is pretty sick. I definitely like this better than the other gun, but there are some features that the other gun has that this one doesn't, that I wish they brought over. So the reason I didn't really like the fact that the sight post stays on the front of this compensator here rather than with the slide is mostly because of the fact that the sight picture is technically changing. So as I'm shooting this and the slide is being pushed back, it's making my field of view from where I'm looking in between these sight posts to this um, this little aperture piece here to be a different distance. And it's it, it, it just, it felt odd to my eye seeing that this post was staying constant rather than being pushed back with the rest of the gun. I mean, maybe it's just the way that I was looking at it. I don't know. Maybe it was just the way that I was looking at the gun. I don't quite know, but I can tell that as I was shooting it, I didn't really like that. But either way, it's still a really nice gun, and I definitely think this is the best gun that we got in this box as a total. The John Wick 3, um, we shoot these all the time, obviously. We've gotten these in other boxes. It's no different than the rest. Um, it's pretty cool. I mean, it feels like the rest of them, so there's not really much to say other than the fact that it shoots really nice and it's a good starter pistol. Anyways guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you all for watching. Leave a like if you liked this video. Leave a comment as to what your favorite gun was. And I hope to see you next time. Thank you all for watching. Have a good one.